<clears throat> you know people are actually subscribed to this now like this isn't like a thing that i just do like actual people are subscribed to me hello everybody today i want to film a first year reflections video thinking about first year and like the stuff that went on but because i physically cannot focus on more than one thing i'm also gonna do my makeup hence why this currently looks like this also if you've seen any of my other like makeup videos you will not be surprised like i've not changed very much in the last like year and a half of products that i've been using like everything's the same first of all i'm gonna put on the butts bees um because you can never have too much of a moisturized lip primer is the nivea men sensitive post shave balm a lot of people have been talking about this i got it like a year ago now it must have been no maybe six months ago i'm not massively enthralled i keep thinking i'm using it wrong so i keep coming back to it halls where you live who you live with, how you live, affects everything. Like that is basically what affects your life. And mine was not a positive experience. Um, it wasn't particularly negative. It just, it didn't set me up for uni, I don't think. Like it wasn't an all round great experience. So I know a lot of people who are devastated to be living holes. And I just didn't have that. My hauls, if you've seen my room tour, you'll know because I mentioned it in that, wasn't in a flat situation, so it was like a corridor um, of single rooms. And it just meant that you didn't talk to people, you didn't get to know them, you didn't, unless you like really went out of your way. Um, and I did in the first term, and I met a girl who lived opposite, and we became really close friends, like we spent the whole of last semester. Uh, well, not last semester now, first semester um, together. But then she was a JSA, she was a semester abroad, so she went back to California at Christmas. And I basically realised I'd fucked myself over. So, yeah, and then making friends in halls after you've missed that first kind of couple of weeks where everybody wants friends, it's kind of, it gets more difficult, I think. Before we carry on, I'm using the NARS Shiglo in Siberia. If you have the option, for a flat or a roommate or just something that you know you have people that you can spend time with that is a much much better way of being in town i think is a huge thing that you should consider especially if you know you can apply for halls like a specific hall you don't want to be a like half an hour 40 minute walk away because that just basically rules out a lot of socializing and stuff first year if you can stay in town i think because it just makes your life easier that's that's not what i meant to say don't go catered um if you have the option i know so like durham and oxbridge you don't have an option to be catered um but if you do go self catered because catered food is a lot of money and unless you are, you know that you will go every night and every lunch it's just not worth it going to haul food when you're a vegetarian is just impossible like they don't cook good vegetarian food they um this is the nars creamy concealer in chantilly by the way however if you are in catered halls or you are in somewhere like a hall that has a canteen or whatever they're really good for making friends like the dining hall in sally's was super good there were huge friend groups who would all go together to dinner um which i missed out on completely because i just didn't eat and well i did eat but i didn't eat there um so i would just completely miss out on that aspect of social life that they had um, which at the time I was fine with but now looking back I'm a little bit irritated with myself because I should have made more of an effort with those people. Yeah, basically self-catered is an easier way forwards than catered unless you're looking for easy ways to get to know people or you're looking for um, just someone to cook your food which to be fair isn't, isn't 
bad, especially if you're not a vegetarian or a vegan. If you're either of those things, definitely go soft here. This spot is uh, trying to break me. Bring loads of stuff to make it feel homely, whatever you use. Like whatever you value in your bedroom at home, bring that in. I did put quite a bit of advice about rooms in my room tour, which I'll also link below. Your neighbours will probably be shit. My neighbours were, especially in second semester, my neighbour to the left of me um, had such loud sex that they had to call the warden at midnight. Like the person downstairs rang the warden at midnight to complain that she was having loud sex. The person on the other side of me was a third year and she was a bitch and kept threatening to call the warden on me for stuff that I actually physically wasn't doing because I was asleep. Cool Pinos. This is the makeup revolution. No. The MUA Bronze Perfection Matte in Sunset Tan, which looks like this. It's This is old. Right, people. Everybody worries about like halls and people. They are intrinsically linked. You meet a lot of people in your halls of residences, um, but you also don't. You also meet a lot of people in tutorials or societies. Oh my god, my brush is just... Can you see that? I'm not going to refocus it. No wonder I was so itchy. My main advice for people is do not expect them to last forever like treat them like they're gonna be your friends in fourth year or third year um, but don't be upset if they go because a lot of people don't last be friends with third years or older years because they know the town they know the university they know um, what your like what your life will be like because they've lived at least a year of it if not two or three um as they lauder peach passion blush again like two years old but i love it um yeah so always always if you can if you can get into societies or you just talk to people at the union or you get a job or say andrews we have academic families where third years basically adopt first years Anything that can get you friends with, like in older years, because that's how my social life has blossomed so much. Societies, everyone says this. I think if you are what, doing what I did, is basic, which is basically binge watching loads of videos just before you move, everyone will have said in their videos, join a society. But I'm going to say it as well, because it's very... Like, you can make friends in your halls, in your tutorials, you know. You, like, I've I made effort with some of the people in my tutorials, and now I'm moving in with one of them, which is great. I love him, but also, um, it, like, you had to put in the effort. You had to, like, invite each other out for coffee, and you had to be like, I like this book, let's talk about it. Um, whereas at societies, you're there because you have a common interest, and you're there because you all enjoy something and it's easier to talk to people when it's like that. If you are stuck, music and drama societies are so, so good for making friends. Like, they will adopt you and you will be, like, loved immediately. Like, drama people are super, super friendly, in case you are wondering on who to befriend drama people. You have to make an effort. I was really quite, I don't know, I was really quite shy um, in my first semester. So I was just too scared to use initiative and to really talk to anyone. I think the first time I made an effort to befriend someone was about after reading week. I messaged a girl in my tutorial and I was like, coffee, please. And there are people now who I'm like, I wish I was friends with you. I wish I was friends with you, you're really cool. And so this year I'm gonna kick myself up the arse and actually become friends with them. Hopefully, if the opportunity presents itself. Hmm, hmm. This is the uh, NYX professional, oh no. Eyebrow powder pencil in taupe. Boys, soft boys, soft fuck boys exist. People in relationships at home 
who flirt with girls at uni, they exist. You don't always find your people straight away. You don't always find, like it took me a semester to find a group of people that I get on with. And even now I'm like, I could definitely do with more friends. And some people do, some people don't, don't worry. You will eventually find people that you like. Just go to societies and get yourself up the arse a bit more. And you'll find someone, but also following that, like if you don't find your people, it can be very easy to isolate or some, like isolate yourself. If you're someone who like suffers with mental health problems or the uh, fuck is, oh my God, that's my actual neighbor. Um, if you're someone who suffers with mental health issues or you're someone who doesn't do very well with being by yourself, I feel like be very aware that isolating yourself is very easy to do at university because you're just, you can just be alone. No one is there to tell you, like, tell you to like eat or tell you to do your work or whatever and so I went to university expecting to be surrounded by people all the time that was I did the opposite I feel like if you know that there is a very high chance that you could like end up alone a lot or like be alone either self-imposed or not um I feel like that mentally prepares you in order to like know that you can you can deal with it when it happens rather than get caught by surprise. Learn good habits in first year while it doesn't mean a thing. Um, I did not learn good habits in first year. Did not go to lectures, did not do my reading, left my essay until the morning of the deadline. Um, which is fine, like I passed. Um, I passed with like two ones, but that, that was not a good move. I have no good habits, I have no healthy study plans, I have no structure in my university schedule and that's really annoying because I had this year to sort that out and then I didn't. Don't stress yourself out. First year is not about stress, first year is about having a good time, getting comfortable with the place that you're at, with the people and also getting used to the university way of life, especially if you've come from A-levels. University studying and university in general is this whole fucking mess of a situation where A-levels have not prepared you in order to write academically. University doesn't get that you've not been prepared, so you have to do all of it yourself. University A-level jump can be horrendous, but if you can get your shit together enough, to teach yourself really good habits, um, do it because you will thank yourself by the end of your degree. That was the shade and light eye palette in the shade Lazarus, which is the middle like grey taupe one. And I'm actually gonna go into my new Urban Decay Jean Michel Basquiat palette, which I'm in love with because he's like my favourite artist, one of them utilize the library um, because if you're eating sleeping and working all in the same space which is what I was doing uh, it becomes disgusting very quickly um, I was not happy in halls for that reason because I was just spending like I was doing pretty much everything in my in my room uh, and it meant that I just, I was confined in a space. The best nights out are the unplanned ones. The ones where you kind of just go with the flow and you follow everyone else. For me, anyway. Get involved. Not as in societies, but just in university life. I travelled a lot this year, which was great. Like, um, I was in Amsterdam, I was in London a lot. I went home quite a bit. I went to Cardiff to see Bob Dylan. Like, I did a whole load of things. But for those things, I sacrificed a uh, university lifestyle. I just, I was missing a lot because I was away. And I think if you stay in the bubble of your university, at least in first year, you will get a better experience out of it. Only get a job if they understand that you're a university student. Don't get a job that gets paid for you if you have to cancel shifts because you have a class or... My job didn't understand that I was a student. Um, 
and they got really, really annoyed. You don't need that extra stress. You might need the money, but you don't need the stress. Like, other people will hide it. You do not worry. You don't need a job that's shit. First year also helps you find your priorities, I've found. Um, you learn what's important to you and what isn't important to you. Uh, like, who's important to you from home. There's a lot of differences uh, with who you are at the start and who, are you, who you are at the end. Which I think is great. I think if you're not changing radically in a situation which demands that you do, there's something wrong with you. You do have too much free time. You have so much free time. That's pretty much everything. Your weight fluctuates. If you're someone who is quite focused on your weight, your weight does change. Um, you lose a lot, you gain a lot. Because of like how radical the change is and everything like that, that does happen, so just be aware. Also, stuff like loneliness, um, like I, there's a lot now that I'm gonna touch on just because I need to do my other eye and then we're done. Uh, but loneliness and imposter syndrome are both things that everybody gets. Like everybody feels like they're not good enough to be at your uni and everybody feels lonely and everybody wants to go home um, or be around something familiar that uni might not offer yet, um, that's fine, that's super normal. I think go home only if it gets really serious, stay at uni as long as you can because the minute you start running away and the minute you start spending a lot of time at home uh, it gets harder and harder to go back. There will be hard times and that's fine, you've just got to like learn that that's okay um, and then once you've kind of got to grips with it, it gets easier, and then you're alright. That was the, um, Soap and Glory coal liner, and then the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast, um, where is it? Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara, it's in a gold tube. I love this, I'm obsessed. The Milani, um, a more matte lip cream in Precious, which I got online, so I may link below if I remember. Uh, and yeah, finished look. And also, yeah, if you're watching this in a panic about first year of university and you're like trying to find out what the hell it's like, just go with a very, very open mind and go with a very, very positive attitude and be very open to saying yes to things. I had a friend who ended up being the one who dropped out actually, who turned up very negative and turned up going, I can't believe I'm going to spend four years here. This was the wrong decision. Um, and it, like, it he made that semester miserable for him and he dropped, like, then he dropped out. Which, you know, he may have dropped out even if he'd gone, like, trying to make it positive. But I think, um, like, go with a very positive attitude and I think you will get more out of it. Like, there's that fucking phrase that everyone says where it's like, you get one out, you get out of university what you put in, but you actually do. So put in everything, you will get out everything. Like, just join everything and talk to people and put in loads for your studies and you'll be really good. Like, don't worry, don't panic. You will have a great time. Or if you don't have a great time, that's okay too. You will find something else that helps you have a great time. Just don't go expecting a bad time is all I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm saying. So. I will say goodbye here. I hope you have a great first year, or if you're just reminiscing, I hope you had a good first year or a good time at university. Um, and I will link a playlist of all about uni down below if you are interested. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.